What the hell is going on, everybody? How you doing over there? Welcome back to another Epi Quack. Tuts, today I've got a really nice bass for you guys. I'm in a dark dubstep kind of mood, and I just made this really sick sound, and uh, it's gonna sound like this. Just a really sick, like, drony kind of dark dubstep bass. If I actually drop it an octave and let the uh, low end breathe right here, if I turn off the CQ, uh, you get another sound kind of like this. Also sounds nice, uh, really relaxing kind of dark dubstep bass, deep dubstep bass, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, it's really easy to make, guys. All the magic comes from chorus and the reverb. And there's a certain parameter in the reverb that's giving it this nice reflective re reverberated sound. Just giving it a lot of atmosphere, and it's just an awesome bass. So let's actually make this bitch duplicate this over here. How you doing? Definitely gonna need a compressor for this bass. The uh, cause I have the chorus at 100% wet, which is just you know the dynamics are kind of all over the place, especially in that low end, obviously. So, um, like I said, I will duplicate this, open up Serum, and we will initialize this patch and get started. So it's originating from FM from B. Um, we just have two sine waves, throw a little low pass on there, and you're good to go. So, like I said, we got basic shapes over here. Hey, Don. Uh, bring the octave down too. Boost the level all the way up, and then we're going to turn on FM from B. And I'll just leave that alone from now until we turn on uh, oscillator B, which is going to be right about now. So, oscillator B, basic shapes again, and again, the sine wave. Um, so, what you want to do is bring the level all the way down then you can see on the right i do have the sync on but the mod but the uh, parameters all the way down so it's actually not doing anything so don't even worry about it um you can just leave the warp type off for that guy so now that we've got oscillator b set up let's bring up this fm from b parameter you can hear right there how with a little bit of con you know dynamic control with the compressor and the and the low pass filter you can get some really nasty dark dubstep basses some real trippy drony shit so what we want to do is bring that up to uh, 21 percent and that is going to be modulated so now what you want to do is bring the semitones on oscillator b up by two and that gives and that just gives you a really trippy drony kind of vibe to this bass which just sounds absolutely beautiful. Wow. You can also just bring it up one semitone to get some vibrato out of there too. But like I said, I have it at two semitones because it sounds very nice. And then so our FM from B is going to start at 21%. And that's that. So you should have just pretty much a sine wave right now. With a little bit of uh with a little bit of love into it so let's get to our filter who would have guessed we're using a low pass filter so just the mg low 12 uh bring the resonance up a little bit to about like eh, 10 o'clock give or take and then bring your cutoff to 220 hertz right right about right 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 about okay right about there so then boost the drive a little bit about 14 percent and then fatten this all the way down trying to lose some weight bring that fat all the way down and then the mix all the way up. So let's get to our modulation now. So it's uh, LFO one here. That's our main wub wubby. And you see, you just gonna make it look like this. Bring this fucker over here. Bring that fucker up a little bit, and then leave that fucker right where it is. Um, so trigger gonna start at the beginning each time. Uh, I have triplet and dotted note on, just to give you more variety of um, LFO speeds. Obviously, if you want to get funky with it. And our actual rate is gonna be a one half dotted note. So right there. So now let's bring this to where it's gotta go. So first thing, bring L bring the uh, level of oscillator A all the way down, and then we'll modulate that. And even just that alone sounds pretty badass, just from raising those semitones up by two. Just that tone alone sounds pretty nice. But we gotta do a little bit more here. So LFO1, bring it to your warp of oscillator A, which is our FM from B, and bring it up 29. So now I should start having some so move a bit here. Nice trippy wub. Uh, also, LFO one, bring it to the cutoff of your f of the uh, low pass filter and bring it up sixty. Bring the resonance up a little bit and then just drop this curve down a tiny bit. Time for the fun part. 
So, um, you can hear in the original sound, there's a ton of atmosphere. It almost sounds like whale noises and shit. And one way we are getting that sound is through the chorus. So, open up your chorus right there. Uh, you're going to bring the rate all the way down. And then bring your mix all the way up. So, low pass filter, you're actually going to bring that down a little bit. So, bring that down to 629. 630, give or take, doesn't have to be exact. So now, without touching anything else, you should have this. But let's bring that feedback to 95%. And you have that. Now that just sounds absolutely awesome. So... The, um, so now we want to do is just get creative with the depth. Just mess with the depth until something sticks out and sounds cool to you. Uh, for me, it was around this area. The depth being in this area more towards the left is going to give you more of a tonal sound rather than an atmos rather than an atmospheric kind of um, you know long release kind of sound. Um, so 4.7 milliseconds. That's where we're at here. Then I've got the EQ, it's just pretty much just another low pass filter. It's not really that necessary because we already have it low passed in the chorus and then we have the same thing going on with uh, you know the, the first filter, but you might as well throw it on there anyway. So low pass, Q, leave it right where it is, the resonance uh, 60%, and then our frequency is going to be all the way down. So bring LFO number uno to that frequency, bring it up about 55. So now that brings us to our reverb, put that last after the EQ. And then this is pretty cool because there's two parameters here on the reverb called the spin and the spin depth. And basically what that's going to do is just add a bit of modulation to the reverb. So those late reflections you hear in the reverb, you're just going to hear them kind of swelling a bit and it just creates a nice atmosphere. It's really good for making pads and sounds like that. So I have it all the way up, both of them, on um, the actual sound. So without the spin all the way up. You have that, so bring up the mix a little bit. Now to bring those all the way up. It just sounds so much better. The sound is constantly evolving, even after, even once you release the note and you still hear that reverb, it's still evolving. So really, other than that, all I did was just brought the decay down a little bit. It's at, I think, 3.5, 3.4 milliseconds right there. Bring that low cut up to like 30%. So it's not as muddy. And really, that's about it. But now you just want to clean up the low end and the dynamics because with the chorus and the reverb, especially with, you know, the feedback practically all the way up on the chorus, those low and low mids are just a little... Two out of control, so this is what I have. Um, pretty much cut out everything under 113, and then this particular area around 200 to 220 is like is a real trouble area for the sound. So I just kind of cleaned that up, cleaned up that area. Sounds a lot cleaner. It'll sit a lot better in a mix, and also gives you room to layer a sub underneath, which obviously you want to do. Um, so that's the uh, EQ. And then our compressor. You want a long attack and release because this is a long kind of evolving sound it's not just like a quick like a pluck or anything like that so i have the attack at 41 milliseconds and then just the gain makeup by three and a half db and that is about it really easy sound to make all the magic happens with the chorus and the reverb just bringing something up by two semitones can change the sound a lot make it sound a lot cooler but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this epic quack touch. We're going to try to do a vital tutorial next. I got a really sick robo bass. Then I'm going to get back to some of your requests. And then uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys. Later.